So anyway, this is something we're thinking of maybe we're trying to compose something, we're trying to come up with something that's uh, not super deep harmonically, but not completely pedestrian and boring. So I'm thinking about the chords in the key of G major, I'm playing E minor, D and G, A minor, uh, G and C. So if I play them really stock shapes, lousy way to play them. Okay. So I might instead take advantage of the walking bass line up. So E minor, I'll play the D with the F sharp on the bottom, G with the G on the bottom, and A minor, I go to a, B, a G again, so I'll put a B on the bottom and a regular old C chord, so now I have walking up there on the bass line. Same thing here. Second time. Then I went. That chord is just like a D, sus. Right, it's almost like playing like a, um, it's like playing a D sus four, but it's an add four because I didn't take away the third. You know what I mean? If I play a D sus four, it means it's a D. I suspend the third, substitute it for a four, so suspended. If I play a D like this, I leave out the fifth. I'm putting the G in. Now I have the third and the fourth, so I guess I'd call it. A D add four. Yeah. So now I'm thinking of that, right? Really static. Chord changes. Thinking of a, a drum beat like this. It's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. And then my rhythm is kind of. So I'm thinking. come to a complete decision on the right hand right away. I think that's how I want the... It's kind of an Afro-Cuban vibe in a way, the, the rhythm. And I might go...
that I could establish that as my all my harmony in those chords, my bass line, and pretty much the subdivision of what the groove is. Everything else now at this point is probably gravy. Like I said a minute ago, sometimes if I come up with parts, um, I'll think of the parts not as chords or not as a guitar player, but maybe if I had, if I was thinking of, if I had two cellos or two oboes or two flutes or two vo vocalists, they would uh, just think about two notes each. And so I'm thinking for the E minor, I might just do the fifth here. The next chord is the D with the F sharp on the bottom, but I might just flip it and play the, uh, the, the F sharp and the A. So I left out the root of the, the next chord. That's fine. I already played it in the other. And this, this is, uh, stands in for my G chord. If I played a full G chord here, it'd be this. So if I played a full E minor, it'd be like this. And then a D would be. But I'm not, I don't want to think all the time guitaristically, you know, like I'm playing chords, chords. I'm thinking about. That's E minor, D, G. For the A minor, I'm playing just the, the root and the third. A, here's a full A minor chord. I might just play the root and the third, the A and the C. The next chord is uh, a G again, but I might do echo the uh, the power chord I did here for the E, I just play here on the G. And then the last chord is a C, and instead of playing a C, I might just go, because in the C chord, I have a C up here. So if we were to play the full version of all these chords, all these notes would be in them, right? If I played, Choosing which two notes I'm using. I'm trying not to think like I did down here. Okay, so now I have. Second time. And that's where I stand in for this chord. I stabbed out those little dyads. I have the full rhythmic thing going on here and that every chord is defined fully with the bass note that I wanted. For the top, I just put uh, the, the triads. E minor. I don't have to play any tricky art, uh, articulation or syncopation because I have a plenty of that already el elsewhere. So I'll play E minor climbing up to uh that's just a d chord like this one only there's my g chord right so i went e minor d g right and then i'm playing a minor i'll play the g here again c second time i'll play the e minor way up here maybe for this stand in for this big shitty chord and then i'll descend on that instead of going e minor d g i went e minor down to d down to g and then the same a minor g so now you have
I put it all together, it should sound. happening beyond that one scale. So I could think to myself, well my G major stuff with an E root. So that's like number one. There's two. There's three. Four and five. Six. Seven. One. And back to two. And if I can cheat my way through with a, a repetitive pattern, like I'm thinking about, here's number pentatonic. Look. One, two, three, four. That's all the E minor pentatonic stuff. But I found this, right? So I went. I just found a thing I can mimic or, or an extension, right? This is for number three, two, one. And then if I did something like, uh, 
Tschüss. All E minor, G major, nonsense. Nothing going on except those seven notes. But when you put it all together, major piece. Here's a... Just all seven, I'll only use seven notes for the whole thing.